Pakistan must deliver prompt and decisive action on the evidence provided by India of the terror attack at Air Force Base in Pathan Court, indicating that without that, crucial talks between the foreign secretaries of both countries are unlikely to go ahead next week. In Pakistan, however, Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif met with top officials, including his foreign affairs advisor, Sartaj Aziz, allegedly to review the evidence furnished by India. The foreign secretaries are due to meet on the 14th and 15th in Islamabad, though India has not yet officially announced any dates. Sources say the government is mulling the option of delaying them. The ball, they say, is now in Pakistan's court. Now, retracing the terrorist trail, the latest assessment shows that two terrorists were at the Indian Air Force base as early as first morning. Two terrorists stayed hidden at the Indian Air Force base on 24 hours before the attack began. The phone intercepts proved terrorists at base earlier than they were first assessed. And also, it shows that the first victim... Ikagar Singh, a drug courier who turned against the terrorist. Sources also tell us that the superintendent of police explanation does not add up. Now, also the latest in the Pathan court probe, uh, you know, uh, the sources have told Shudhiranjan Sain that evidence links Pathan Court, Afghanistan consulate attacks. That Pathan Court is a deeper conspiracy beyond just the Jaish e Mohammed. Sources also tell NDTV that Pathan Court actually was a twin attack against India and that the twin attack was to undermine Modi's foreign policy with Pakistan. Sources also tell NDTV that Jaish is possibly used by sections in the Pakistan against the peace process with India. India and Pakistan NSAs may meet only if Pakistan takes action on the Indian evidence.